So, right after the Windpocalypse, you've decided to take the free-to-play route in hopes of earning a free stay at the Wind and a free buffet because they have to come out eventually, right? Right? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. Now, for today's video, I think we'll discuss some power strategies for beating the Scratcher events. Now, for those of you unaware, Scratcher hunting is one of the strongest strategies to continue to maintain a good chip balance while you earn gems and win slots. But, there are certain events that are more difficult to complete than others, so you may miss out on gems while you're hunting for certain Scratchers. So if you're not team, I've got just the solution you're looking for. Here are the best games to play to beat a certain Scratcher. This is probably the easiest of the Scratcher events. Honestly, any game will do the job, but if you want it done quickly, I suggest Joker's Wheel. It's got a very low bet line and a very consistent payback percentage. The most important thing is because it's a 3 reel game and it doesn't offer free spins, you're not very likely to stall. Also, its bonus feature automatically spins through, so your 100, 400, or 500 spins never really stop. Meaning you can finish that report for the boss that you've been putting off while you earn a free vacation from the office. Some games are actually very generous with their big wins, but big wins are random and relative to a bet. My recommendation, using the Hongbao Hyper Bonus game. Hongbao Hyper Bonus is a strategy in win slots that we've used in the past, and for good reason. That's because it hits a lot of scratcher categories simultaneously, making it one of the best ways to achieve these scratcher goals in a short period of time. To accomplish winning a large amount of coins in one spin, select the Hongbao Hyper Bonus game, usually around 30 million or so, and let it spin. Typically, by the end of one of the spins, you'll hit at least a 3 or 4 million chip range, if not even more. Chip banking is another common goal. Some of these will be as low as winning 10 million chips for a scratcher, but I've seen events require a collection of over 600 million chips in the past. How can you do this? Well, once again, Hongbao Hyper Bonus. The trick to coin collecting is that it counts every chip that you collect, regardless of how many you lose. So, say you're shooting for a 100 million chip scratcher. You play Hongbao Hyper Bonus three times at 300 million and withdraw about 35 million each time. While you may have only made a 15 million chip profit, the game calls it a win of 105 million chips, and it lets you have the scratcher. So you don't need to have them all in the bank at the same time, you just have to get them out of the slot. It'll count any chips that you win doing any other challenges too, except for battle mode. Speaking of battle mode, playing battle mode any number of times is an easy one. You can literally play any game in the battle mode library, but my favorite is Royal Romance, mainly because of the Royal Romance meter that you can use for the next challenge. Anyway, just stick to a single game with a bonus meter and you'll be fine. Remember that piece of advice I gave you just a second ago about Royal Romance? This is why. There's a trick to winning battle mode. Whatever denomination you play battle mode at, when you're shooting to play it 3, 4, or 5 times, make sure it's higher than the denomination of the game that you play when you're trying to win. For example, I normally play Royal Romance at 10 million chips per game, meaning anytime I get a Royal Romance bonus, it builds up with a larger chip pool. Then, when I desperately need a win and the meter is close to paying off, I play at a million chips or sometimes lower. So when I win at a low denomination, I still get that big denomination that I got from the Royal Romance meter in the older games. And then I can steal a game from there. Usually you only have to win battle mode two or three times for a scratcher, so this can steal your second win. And earn you an easy scratcher, of course. Gold coins, tiger lilies, and of course, the elusive dragon power orbs. Collection quests are a drag. When a scratcher event gets specific, things get difficult. Two of the most common win slot scratcher quests are collecting 100 orbs in dragon power or collecting 100 gold coins in tree of gold. The only advice I have for you is to run 500 auto spins on whichever game is applicable at the level 2 bet. Often it's the most sustainable bet and you can usually achieve the goal within 1000 spins. Well, your mileage may vary with dragon power, but it's still a pretty good bet. 
Free games is another quest that may prove difficult, especially for quests that require you to win 5 sets of free spins. Unlike my Konami slots, the free game just counts triggering the bonus and not the actual spins, so winning 8 free spins only counts as one free game. I usually pick Monkey God for my go-to, as the average seems to be one free game per 100 spins or so. Though when Monkey God is tight, I often look to Dragon Power or Bangkok Dreams. Dragon Power is stingy about its balls with words, but not about its free spins for some reason. The silver jackpot is very specific in that only a few games have a silver jackpot option. The best contender, in my opinion, is Joker's Wheel. The wheel bonus pops up frequently, it doesn't interrupt the game, and usually within 500 spins you'll have yourself a jackpot. It's another quest you can kinda set and forget while you binge watch a TV show. The final scratcher type that you'll see most often is, well, the reward for earning all the other scratcher rewards. No special advice here, just check your other 4, 5, and sometimes 6 scratchers, complete them all using the tips on this list, redeem them, and then reap the benefits. That about wraps it up for this video. If you found the win slots, tips, and tricks here informative, I'd appreciate a like, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to hear from me again. Also, do you have any go-to games for a certain challenge? Did I miss any special challenges you'd like covered in a future video? If so, I'd love to hear about them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and happy spinning you guys.